Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over three simple mistakes that most people make when it comes to the pre-trip inspection. Now, when it comes to the pre-trip inspection, that is the act of inspecting the entire vehicle on the outside pre your trip, which means before you actually go driving on the road. When it comes to actually taking the road test, this is the first section of the actual road test itself. The road test is gonna be split into three different sections. The first section is all about your knowledge on understanding on how to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. Second section is all about parking the truck six different ways. And the third section is actually your ability to drive the truck on the road itself. So when it comes to the pre-trip inspection, you're gonna to have to understand to inspect every single part of that vehicle. Now this vehicle has many different parts that, you're gonna, that you are gonna to have to be able to inspect. Today's video, we're gonna talk about three common mistakes people uh, make when it comes to inspecting the tire version of the vehicle. So, common number one is most people forget to inspect the tire pressure. So when it comes to inspecting tire pressure for your pre-trip inspection, especially for your road test, you are actually going to have to check the valve and stem as one item by itself. Then you're going to have to check the tire pressure. How do you do that? You're going to have to say that you're going to check it with an air gauge. If you just check it by hitting it or by looking at it or by kicking it, even and some people say, yeah, you can hear the sound if it's full or if it's not. You want to make sure that you know exactly what kind of PSI that that tire does have. And you want to make sure that you're telling the examiner that you check it with an air gauge. So it would sound something like this. So I'm going to check my tires for air pressure. My air pressure should be 90 to 100 PSI and I'll be using a tire gauge. And if you don't know what a tire gauge looks like, that's exactly what one looks like. Make sure you get a commercial one, not one for a car itself, right? So that's usually the first mistake. The other mistake is people don't really understand the difference between spacers or bud spacing. Now when it comes to the test, it's really not that big of a deal as long as you use the proper terminology behind it, but it's our job to educate you. So when it comes to spacers or bud spacing, that has to do with the back axles of the vehicle. So that means your drive axle on your tractor or your trailer axles itself. So anytime that you see two tires close together, you're either going to have a bud spacer or a spacer in between those tires. So what is the difference? Bud spacer, that's more real, that's a newer version of the spacer. So bud spacer is they form the rim to bud out, right? So the rim is in a curved shape as you can see in this picture right over here. And the rims bud out and they're touch rim on rim. But the rim itself creates a space between, the tr between both tires. So then you wanna make sure that there is enough space because last thing you want is something getting caught in there and you don't want those tires rubbing together because a blowout is bound to happen. Now a spacer, that's usually found in older models. Most of the time you'll find these in trailers uh, if they're a little bit older. And that's when they have different form of rims. So in this case, they're gonna have an open face rim. And then there's gonna, instead of rim on rim, what's gonna happen is you're gonna actually put a piece of metal or an actual spacer that's gonna make create the space between both tires. Like I said, it's more of an older technique, uh, but you definitely will see a lot out there. So when it comes to the inspection, you want to make sure that you understand whether you're going to have spacers or bud spacers, and then you sound like you are an intelligent human being. So hopefully we taught you something. And then the third thing that some people get wrong is going to be axle seals versus hub seals. So inside, uh, if you look at the side of the tire here, that middle piece inside there is either going to be an axle seal or a hub seal. The difference is on what tire that belongs to. So if you look at the side of this whole truck over here, and the front axle itself is going to be reserved for your hub seals. So any of the front tires of the vehicle are always going to be called hub seals. Every axle after that is going to be called an axle seal. So when it comes to hub seals or axle seals, you're going to have to say that my hub seals are not my hub and axle seals are not leaking and they're filled to adequate level. There's actually oil inside those things to make sure that the lubricant is happening for the axle itself and nothing gets seized and you can actually keep moving itself, right? So those are the things you're gonna to have to inspect. So I hope you enjoyed these quick three different tips for when it comes to inspecting the actual tires for your CDL road test. If you do get one of these things wrong, there is a possibility that you will fail the test and that's something that we do not wanna hear. That being said, if you are interested in learning more about how to pass a pre-trip inspection portion of the test, or how to just pass the road test in general, you definitely wanna give a driving school a call. I wonder which driving you should give? Well, Driving Academy is the best one, and there's our number below, 908-525-3609. We're located in Linden, New Jersey, but we can help you out no matter what state you live in. 
and we are ready and prepared to help a million people get on the road to freedom. We believe you'll truly become free when you have the skill set that you need to get into the job market and make more money than, than you are now. And getting a CDL license is definitely going to get you there. And in order for you to get there, you're going to have to pass this road test. In order for you to do that, you're going to have to make sure you get the proper training. So that being said, give us a call 908-525-3609. Figure out more about our training packages. If you want to take a virtual school tour, I invite you. That's probably the best thing you can do. Click on the link below cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. I'll definitely be here to help you out any way that we can. Thanks and have a fantastic day.